GoPro footage of Jesus eating a Philly cheesesteak during sunset. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's as weird as it's gonna get, right? <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of The Sauce. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how a robot took my job. They took your job! They took your job! So the first thing you're going to notice is that I'm in a new studio space. Um, it looks pretty dope and it's not real. It's not even an image that was taken by somebody in a real studio. This is actually AI generated. Don't believe me? Well, check this out. What the hell? It's the same studio almost, except it's not. I kind of prefer the blue one. We're going to stick to this one now. What made this thing and how did it make this? AI is getting so good at doing things that we do that pretty much is going to take our jobs is what basically what I'm saying here. I'm going to show you exactly how I made this image and exactly how you can make this image right now in this episode. So. There's a ton of AI bots out there. There's some one called Dolly, which is a play on Salvador Dolly, Starry AI, Wombo, which all of these things are incredible. There's so much fun to use. I highly recommend you use any of these. You type some text, you, you come up with an idea. My text prompt for this was photorealistic music studio shot from three feet up in perspective with uh, dramatic lighting. This is what we got. It's kind of crazy. So let me show you exactly how this works. Boom. So here we go. Now I'm in the, wait, how, my studio changed. Oh, well, we got the brown studio. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go to this server over here, which is called Mid Journey, okay? This is the most advanced machine learning thing I've ever seen in my life. Just take a look at some of these images. Like this stuff is so good at making art. It's putting, it's definitely going to put artists out of work, which I don't know if I like that because I am one and I have friends that are artists, but at the same time, you can generate incredible images in seconds using just your imagination. So part of this is like, well, which who's really still the artist, right? I'm still the one putting in text prompts. I'm still the one that's actually typing the words that this thing is then creating art with. So aren't I technically the artist? I'm the one that came up with this concept. It's my imagination. It's not the bot's imagination. But at the same time, I would never be able to create something as cool as this. So. I don't know, maybe this thing is the artist. Look at this, this is nuts. So let me just first show you how this thing works before I get off track here. And then we'll go and maybe create some stuff here together. This all works through Discord. So there is a trial, so you can go and sign up. Um, just, you have to set up a Discord account, go to Mid Journey. I can put an invite link at the bottom uh, in the description here so that you have one for this. And essentially you'll go in here, you're gonna go into one of the newbie channels here and pretty much, you can scroll to the bottom, you can look for inspiration, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the slash button and type imagine, okay? And then space, and it'll give you that little prompt, this little prompt area space right here. And you'll see other people are already using uh, all these crazy things. So what I'm gonna do right now is say, I don't know, let's think of something crazy, like um, the first person to ever hold a puppy. Okay, and um, I'm just gonna hit enter. What this is gonna do is it's gonna wait to start. All of a sudden, over here, you'll see in uh, highlighted yellow or highlighted brownish, it will be creating four images based on your prompt. So it's now creating four images, the first person to ever hold a puppy. Um, I don't know <laughs> if this is actually creating a person, but it's definitely creating puppies, you can see that. You can see it's actively rendering. It's at 42% right now, and it's just gonna keep going and getting better and better as this thing goes on. Oh my gosh, these are the cutest pictures I think I've ever seen. Uh, uh, how could you go wrong with puppies? As this thing generates and renders, you're gonna get four choices. What happens after that is you can pick either to create one of those four in a variation, or you can pick to um, render it in higher detail. So now it's at 95%. You're going to see what happens is it's going to disappear. Yep, there it goes. And it's going to jump down to the bottom of your Discord. Now, if you're doing this from the Mid Journey Discord, it's probably going to be a pain in the ass because you are going to have to scroll through all these other people's designs before you can find yours again. Um, 
you'll see it because it's highlighted it again. It highlights it because it's using your name. So here it is, boom, we got it. Another way to check this out is to just click on your inbox up on the top here. And then you can see, you can sort things by where you were tagged. So here's the tagged image and you can see that you can just click on this to jump over to the image. So here we are. I'm gonna open the original so you can see better on here. Um, this is our image. It gave us four. So the how you figure this out is it goes in quadrants. It goes one, two, three, and four. So that's how you'll know what to press next. These are the cutest freaking puppies ever. This one actually looks like someone holding it. It looks like fingers, right? And and I like this. This is ridiculously cute. This, what is he wearing? Like a space suit? It's kind of amazing, right? And the eyes on this one are just so cute. So now here's what you get to do at this point. We can say, okay, I don't like any of these. Reroll it. That's what this button does. It'll reroll four absolutely brand new styles. The U means upscale. So right now it's a small render. It's not very um, big in file size, but you can upscale it to a bigger file size, render it with more detail by pressing one of these buttons. U1 means render this first one. U2 means render the second one. U3, the third, and U4, the fourth. Just like that works, V is variations on those. So you pick one that you kind of like the structure, you like the composition, but maybe you wanna see different puppies or different variations of that exact same image. That's what the V comes in place. So what we'll try to do here is, I really like this first one. I wanna, I wanna get some variations on the first one, V1, and this is just so cute, number three. I want an upscale on, on number three. So we'll hit those two buttons. And what will happen is they'll start rendering. If you keep scrolling down on the Discord, you'll find the area where they started the job, um, basically um, somewhere down here. But again, it tags you when you do it. So you can always hit the inbox to go check it out. And so here is now, oh, 100%, it disappeared. Let's go to our inbox to check it out right here. Okay, jump to it. Th these are now our variations on variation one. So that's why they're all very similar now in structure, in color, in in composition. However, it gave us variations on the puppies. It's This is crazy. I love, I don't know, this is so adorable. I really like this one, number three. Number three is pretty good. So I'm gonna just uh, put that down here. <laughs> and uh, let's go check and see if our other one's done yet. Um, not yet, it doesn't seem like it. So the upscaling takes a little bit because it's really processing. And you can see there's many, many people making images at once. Um, trying to process this and the images are just insane the the level of detail the creativity like what is this space cat galaxy purple like the things that it comes up with are just incredible the art styles are so different so different so we can click on here oh there we go so we got our upscale and uh there it'll just jump down to this so now when we click on this look how much bigger it is and how much more detailed this is this when you open the original I mean, you can right click now and save this image to your hard drive and you know, there you go. It's basically the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and now you can take this even one step further and you can take this image that we got upscaled. Let me jump to it real quick. If you really, really love this image and you wanna upscale it even more to, you can basically click this button, which is a no brainer, upscale to the max. And that will make it the highest resolution possible for this. It's just incredible. It looks so amazing. Look at this, like horror 8K. Like some of these are really creepy and gruesome and nuts. Sonic.exe, very, very unique individual things here. Um, now they also have some fun things in their Discord channel. Like for example, uh, today is their daily theme. So let's click on the daily theme. The daily theme is now paper, paper, cardboard, and origami. And so everyone in this is now using things that have to do with paper. So here's a super cute paper statue. Um, this is a scene from the Wizard of Oz, folded colored paper. And to get these types of prompts, you basically just have to type paper or like, you can do some crazy fun things. You can also, if you don't want all the clutter that's happening on here, you can also add this bot to your server by right clicking on the bot and just inviting it to your personal Discord server. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go over to the Rocket DAO. If you guys uh, are in the Rocket DAO, you don't have access to this just yet, but you will. That's part of the perks of being uh, in the Rocket DAO. So if you wanna join Rocket DAO, just mint the NFT below, join the Discord server. The links will all be in the description below and you can have access to this privately on the Rocket DAO server. Um, and you're supporting me and everything that I'm doing here in Web3, which I appreciate tremendously. So 
you can see now the renders that I made for my backgrounds here. Um, this is my upscaled studio music studio, and this is my upscaled video studio. Um, these were the choices that it gave me, which is pretty interesting. These are some cool couches. I don't know if I picked the right one. Why don't you put down in the comments below if you think I should have gone with quadrant one, two, three, or four. Uh, and let me know which one's better to use for these podcast for these uh, videos because, man, I mean, what a great background. This was the first set that I had to re-roll because it was a little weird in terms of perspective. Um, but it did a pretty good job rendering these couches out. Um, and I've done a couple things here. We've got some new logos now that I've created for Rocket Sauce, which uh, is literally sauce. Um, disgusting 3D sauce and what looks like, you know, little Chef Boyardee uh, SpaghettiOs in letters. I could never have come up with this on my own. This is just insanity. So let's do something new and let's do something weird and fun. I don't know. Let's type imagine... And we can, you can literally imagine anything, like the weirdest stuff, things that have never existed before in life. So you know that this bot isn't just pulling pictures off the internet. It's actually thinking and creating these images. So um, I don't know, the weirdest thing I could think of is uh, GoPro footage of Jesus eating a Philly cheesesteak during sunset. <laughs> I mean, that's that's as weird as it's going to get, right? And we can, you can also add some tags like dash dash AR means aspect ratio. So maybe I don't want a square of this. Maybe I want this in 16, nine. Uh, and let's hit enter and see what we get. This might be some really weird stuff here. Um, now it's waiting to start. And at least in your server, you just get your image. You don't get all the other people's stuff, which is good and bad. I like seeing other people's images because it's, it's very, um, interesting to me to see what people are coming up with in terms of their prompts. And it's really cool to give you inspiration for your own images too, at sometimes. So now we're seeing we're at 32% and it's pretty fast for that first initial render. You can already see the, uh, <laughs> the silhouette of the man himself. And, uh, I don't know <laughs> what we're going to get, but this is definitely, uh, it definitely looks like GoPro footage. At least some of these do. I don't know how it knows this. The third one for sure looks like it. And I'm pretty sure this is a cheesecake. Not a cheesecake, a cheesesteak. Cheesecake would be a better prompt. A cheesesteak is very funny. Oh my God. Literally, no pun intended here. It's just freaking hilarious. This really looks like a GoPro shot of... A guy getting, I don't know if he's getting handed a cheesesteak or what. This is hilarious. I love how huge he is in the scene, like godlike, if you would, you know. This looks more like he's eating a uh, a corn dog than cheesesteak. But honestly, the sunset is incredible in this shot. And this one, I can't tell where he is, but it looks like he's on a boat somewhere. Or maybe this is actually the statue in Brazil that they're that they're. <laughs> That it looks like it's mimicking here in Rio de Janeiro or something, but this is uh this is crazy. So if you liked these, you can upscale them. Um, I don't know that I care for any of them. We can re-roll it. I'll show you what that looks like, right? Maybe I don't like any of them. Reroll. Give me something totally fresh, bot. I want to see some other stuff. Um, you messed up on this one for sure. And so when you re-roll, it will then just come up with four completely new scenarios, as you can already tell by the image. It doesn't even look close to the last one. It's They look like completely different scenes. So we'll see what that looks like. In the meantime, I mean, you can come up with basically anything. In this case, maybe you want a trial to see like what kind of a logo you should add or something like that. So we can try that for, for right here, right? Imagine uh, a 3D cartoon logo of a hot sauce packet shooting sauce everywhere we want this or we'll just say backlit you can define the back or dramatic dramatic backlit lighting you can even define the lighting okay this is how crazy this thing is i'm gonna enter on that and we're gonna go look at the new gopro jesus oh my gosh okay so yeah obviously the gopro footage 
it's such a wide angle lens that it does that bending thing on your face. And that's why this is so hilarious because it actually got this pretty, pretty on point. And I think this one's my favorite because it's somebody handing him a literal, this is a photorealistic cheesesteak. I mean, this is great. This is so wacky. Um, it's incredible. I, I know I keep saying that, but like what, what are the words for this? It's, it's indescribable what is happening here. Long story short, you can do this right now if you want to. I'm not sponsored by Midjourney, although I wish I was. Um, I wish they could just give me an unlimited membership to this because I, it's addictive. You will use this all day and start coming up with crazy stuff. The beauty about this is when you're done with these images, they are high enough resolution where you could print these on t-shirts or you can make them into um, uh, canvas. Um, they're not crazy high resolution. You're probably stuck with like a five by five, but I'm sure they could get there. I'm sure they can increase the resolution with better uh, packages or monthly memberships. Um, so these are my sauce packets, cartoon sauce packets. Um, this looks more like a bottle, but you know what? I mean, hot sass, hot sass. The AI isn't great with text yet. I'll tell you that much. Um, but when it gets it right, it gets it right. These are crazy. This is a really cool logo. Like if I didn't already have a pretty dope logo, I would, I would use one of these, probably this one, just right. Powered by rocket sauce right here. We could use that as the new logo. It's pretty chill. Anyway, that's it guys for this episode. I think you should go check it out. Um, it's called again, mid journey. This is a crazy bot. You get, I think 20 images for free. Uh, after that, you have to sign up for a subscription. It's really not that expensive. It depends on how much you're going to be using it, but I think it's at this point only $10 for about 200 images a month. Um, and then it's $30 for unlimited images for the month. So it's still not too bad, especially if you plan on using this every day and creating a ton of images like what I'm doing. Um, Again, you can even get crazy with this and merge images on top of images on top of images. So I don't know if you can even see back here. I've been doing this for a minute, but I came up with this really cool um, bowl. It's basically like a sauce bowl with colored smoke shooting up in the air, right? And then I also came up with these really cool rockets that are um, shooting sauce packets and paint, you know, neon paint everywhere. And... Um, than you guys saw earlier already, the little rocket sauce logos. And maybe it's not completely killing the artist's job. These are also good starting points, or you can blend them together. If you thought this video was cool, leave a like. If you want me to do a video on some of these prompts, leave your best prompt down below in the comments, and I might do a secondary follow-up video where all I do is render some of these images that you guys came up with. As always, guys, stay lost in the sauce, and I will see you next time from my amazing studio right here, right here in this amazing new brand new studio. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, put some sauce on it.